a world where reality and fiction are becoming increasingly blurred, a new threat has emerged. Looking into the brave new world of artificial intelligence. intelligence. Welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. The words you're hearing were never spoken by the real Bill into a microphone or to a camera. He merely typed the words into a computer and they come out of my mouth. I have a horrible feeling that we are about to enter an era where you, you will have no idea what's true. I have a horrible feeling just watching that. While most of these videos are made to be, well, funny. I got lost in the grocery store and couldn't find my way out. But that's when I saw it, a glowing pistachio. Definitely. So the first one is Focus Chris on the man Rock. to the left. So Watch his question, face Chris. turn into Chris Rock. Would you ever consider running for president? I mean, I mean, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, listen. Listen, 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 listen. But what you may not know is that my love for Minecraft began in part because of my dear mother, her late majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. You guys cool if I play some sports? Okay, sure. They're not perfect, but they're only going to get better. As time passes, technology evolves. Quicker processing times, higher visual quality, and well, better deepfakes. In 2022, they did the first live deepfake on America's Got Talent, where they took a professional performer and overlaid Simon Cowell's face live on national television. So far, this doesn't seem like much of a threat, but let's go deeper. Deepfakes pose multiple potential threats to national security. These could be used to spread propaganda, such as a world leader making a false statement that could lead to tension or even military conflict. Recently, this just happened. Russia supposedly released a deepfake video of Zelensky telling Ukrainian troops to lay down arms. While most can clearly tell this is an artificial deepfake, it's only a matter of time until these become indistinguishable from the real thing. So what's stopping anybody from making a highly detailed deepfake of a world leader announcing dangerous propaganda to the public? Well, the answer is not much. These videos can go viral very quickly. And if it's not proven false right away, there can be very dangerous consequences. A few large companies are currently in battle with identifying deepfakes and stopping them in their tracks. Within five or ten years, if we don't have this technology, most of what people will be seeing, or quite a lot of it, will be synthetic. We won't be able to tell the difference. Microsoft and Adobe are creating a tool to combat these deepfakes. They are making a software that is basically a lie detector for photos and videos. This will be called Content Credentials. You may have already seen these on some websites, but they're still being developed. But as of now, only select websites will be using this feature. Average citizens need to be aware of what's going on, because in just a few years, these deepfakes will be undetectable. 